Hey guys, Cat Sauce here, and welcome back to part two of Drawing Studio Ghibli Foods. In my last video, I talked about choosing simple background colors and contrasting colors, so do check it out on the i card above if you hadn't watched it. So for this video, I'll be going on to talk about a new style that I'm dabbling in called Linus Art. It is when your art is not shaped by black lines, whether it be a constant thickness or varying strokes, but rather defined by shadows, highlights, and contrasting colours. Studio Ghibli colours in both characters and environment have so many varieties of colours that making these things come to life and describing so many things without the use of words was something that exceptionally struck me a lot. So Studio Ghibli Foods was something that I wanted to practice on in Linus Art. I first have to put it like out here that what I do in this speed paint and what I'm describing is usually like using my own way of drawing using the tools that I have limited to Medibang and the skill in my style and my ability to you know draw. I'm just sharing how I came to the final product and to observe my own development through the liner's work. So what I'm doing here is sketching out the overall composition of the drawing which is the layout, the perspective of the drawing and what I'm going to put in it. I used a basic circular shape to define the bowl and after that I added in like all the stuff that is in the bowl. After that I went on to show you guys how what kind of brush that I'm using which is an altered uh, crayon brush that I modified myself through the cloud um, cloud tool in Medibank. After that, I picked out the colors just to make sure that I can actually pick out whatever I want when I want to do my shading, my highlights easily. And I went on to fill in like the basic colors. For the noodles, I decided to go for like a individual strand kind of like a uh, look to it. So I did like a lot of like defined uh, tone, highlight, all that kind of stuff. And it took me quite a long time, but it was actually worth it. I was exceptionally proud of this piece because it was my first time doing liners artwork in a long time. I have actually done liners work before, but this is a this is the first time I'm actually doing it in a new style. So I'm actually quite proud of this, really. After that, after I did the ham, I actually went on to like complete the noodles where the placement was gonna be. I wanted it to be messy, so that I so that it looks like the noodles are actually stirred everything in that kind of like messy proportion kind of thing. If you get what I mean. The egg was exceptionally hard because I forgot how eggs worked. Surprisingly, uh. I was actually quite disappointed in the way I coloured the egg because the egg just looked too dull. Because I did a colour picker on the reference, and in the reference photo, the overall image was actually quite dull. So I had to, I couldn't be, actually couldn't be bothered to actually like try to brighten up the, the colour. So in the end, it just looked like that. So for the shadow, I actually discovered a new technique while working on this piece. I first of all put in where I want my shadow to be using a bold black lines and once that was done in your layers there's this uh, tool where you can uh, change how the color is going to look like on, on the overall canvas like the heart like the overlay that kind of stuff I chose soft light and when I did that the black you know gave the shadow still gave the shadow look but it overall still allowed the piece where the shadow is to stay in its original hue like the red will become like a darker pinkish red and it'll still look good to the eyes so i really like that again with the soft light shadow i did the same thing to the chopsticks and also the base of it the background
I also um, did dabbled around with the smoke, especially the smoke was quite hard. So in the end, I actually used the smudge tool and smudged the smoke. So now that you have seen like the speed paint of my first lineless art, and I have explained what was going on, I don't feel the need to actually explain what I did in the other drawings because it uses, uses the same repetitive uh, technique to it. Uh, soft light shadows, um, crayon kind of style. I basically have finished explaining everything, so just enjoy the rest of the speed paint. The, the, the speed paints were like my favorites. I especially love the last piece because you'll see why. So enjoy!
And so here are the final pieces that actually came together. I was honestly so proud of what I did. It's my first time in a long while that I did Linus Art and it came out so well. It, it brought out the Studio Ghibli food magic that came along with it and I hope to put it in my drawing. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening to my talking of this piece, the speed pay, what I was doing here. I hope it helped you a bit in terms of art improvement and you know, maneuvering your way around Medibang, the app itself, the brushes to use and how to do the piece in terms of colouring and shading. So thanks for watching again and see you. Bye!